fun on a boat turns to agony in an instant as passengers are violently thrown with incredible force. August 24, 2012. Thousands of people have descended on Missouri's Lake of the Ozarks, a summertime playground for the Midwest with more shoreline than California's Pacific Coast. One of the lake's main attractions, the annual Poker Run. The event is covered from all angles by local television station Lake TV and its co-owner, Sean Cober. The Poker Run started as a fundraiser for local charities. Basically, you show up at the restaurant, you sign in, and then you go to six different stops. And at those stops, you'll get a card. And at the end of the day, the best hand wins. It really is a, a highlight of what the lake is all about, getting out in the water and just enjoying all of the restaurants and the establishments that are on the water. Lake TV cameraman and co-owner Brett Tintera is tasked with shooting video on board the contestants' boats. On his last run of the day, he positions his camera on a boat carrying a group of six other people. It was a beautiful, beautiful, warm summer day. The event was actually wrapping up. It was the end of the day. Um, everybody was in good spirits. We were rowing about 50 different boats that day, and when I get in the boat, I mount this camera on the dashboard. And uh, this allows me to sit down safely and ride in the boat while we're still filming all the action. I mounted this on the dash, made sure it got a shot of everybody. The high-end power boat begins its journey to the last stop of the day. As the driver picks up speed, the passengers tighten their grips. As the boat was going along about half throttle, at one point uh, the captain took it to full throttle. And at that point I said, you know, if we're going to go this fast, I'm going to take my seat and hang on because it didn't feel safe at all. While the driver may have been obeying the 70 mile per hour speed limit set for that event, Water Patrol requires boats to slow down if the wake conditions call for it. It's not that uncommon to go fast on the water. It's just just uh, not that common to do it in really rough water like it was that particular Friday. The boat is smashing down on the wakes more and more frequently, and the people on board begin to look distressed. We had come up to about four or five rollers, what they call them, their, their wakes from another boat. I'd never been in a boat that slapped down that hard, so I remember thinking, this is not good. The boat impacts with more rough waters, and suddenly the force is massive. I really thought the boat was going to flip, so uh, I hung on as tight as I could, and I remember kind of closing my eyes thinking, I'm going to fly out of this boat at, you know, way too fast at speeds. And at that moment, all I remember thinking was, I'm 30 years old, 30 years on Earth, and this is what it comes down to. And at the end of the day, I literally thought, yeah, I would definitely die. The back end of the boat slams down into the water, preventing it from rolling, but it exerts a brutal force on the passengers. They basically spun out. It was very violent. Everybody in the boat went to the one side. Uh, the driver was immediately flung to the ground, and um, the female in the center, it was kind of as if her feet were almost tied down, but her face and body rode the dash um, pretty violently. I believe the woman on the left bent the throttle over sideways with her leg from the impact. It is quite scary the way the captain falls to the ground because it, it almost looks fake. But just from the first hit, it looks like he goes to the ground because he's not able to brace himself or hold on to anything. And then you see how much force was involved by those kind of speeds. He's seen everybody fly from one side of the boat and back again to the other and back again. And, uh, it, it almost looks like rag dolls. It's all over in seconds. As the boat slows to a stop, stunned passengers try to regain their bearings. And then I remember kind of setting up being in shock, wondering where all the water had come from. And just very dazed and confused along with everybody else. And then everybody kind of started to come to 
and kind of point at each other, hey, you're hurting here, you're bleeding here, and you know, and we could all kind of see each other's wounds unfold in front of us, which was quite horrifying. Mom, we need help. We need help. Call for help. Call for help. A couple of us had yelled to a, a nearby boat, you know, call for help. Everyone on board is taken to the hospital and treated for their injuries, and there are many. There were shattered eye sockets. There was one individual with broken hips and pelvis, broken legs, broken foot. I broke my wrist, I broke my leg, I ruptured a disc in my back, I cracked some ribs. Yeah, this is actually a scar from my, my head pounding on the boat. Water Patrol cites the driver of the boat for failing to operate a motorboat in a careful and prudent manner and allowing a passenger to ride on the rear deck without adequate railing. He's ordered to pay a fine. Despite the disturbing images from the accident, those involved with the event insist that safety is always the number one priority. When you figure how many people come to the lake, it's a very small percentage um, that end up like that. It's a very safe place. There's boating accidents all over the place, but no one's really seen one on film. And, and you don't really think about it until you see it.